Hi, I had to come back on live again because my time ran out on the first live. So, what am I making? So I started making rainbow cupcakes, but I only got so far as doing the yellow mixture. So I'll start again. So I'm just measuring out the 20 mils for the, the milk that I mixed up. So each packet you mix up separately the colours. <clears throat> So it comes, so this is from Action and it was under two euros and it comes with everything you need but you need to add butter, eggs and water. So instead of water I add milk to it and I use, um, I'm starting live again I'll show you, I use this um, powdered milk and I add this to water. So I, I need to add 45 grams of butter to each mixture on one egg so I'm just going to measure that out. Move the mixing bowl out there. So once you've mixed it all up, this is the mixture that you make. So this is the yellow one. So now I'm going to make the pink one. So I need 45 grams of butter. It's three colour mixture rainbow cake. So I'm just going to use vegetable margarine. So I need 45 grams of vegetable margarine. So it's 46, so it's fine. One gram of more So to this I add one egg. It says two eggs on the packet, but to make it easier, I've got small eggs. These are free range eggs and they're small because it's easy just to add one small egg than trying to figure out. It's a bit daft really because it says two eggs yet the mixture's in three packets. It should say three eggs really. Honestly, it just doesn't make sense. Well, the butter is easy to figure out because it's 45 grams per portion colour. So, now we add the milk which you've got here, which you've already mixed up. And to this we'll add half a small teaspoon of baking powder. What that just does, it just adds. Put that down there. What that does, the baking powder just gives a bit more fluffiness to it. So the baking powder is just by Weaver brand. It's nothing special. You can get any kind of baking powder. I'm not I'm not promoting any brands. I'm just showing you what I've just got. So you just need about that much of baking powder. So you can use any brand, any brand of baking. I'm not promoting any brands, I'm just showing you what I'm using. So now we're going to put the pink packet. So these rainbow, so you can tell, if you put it in the light, you can see which colour is which. So this is the pink one, I'm presuming, so it's a light colour. So just shake the packet down because the mixture is all over in this packet. So this rainbow cakes, they do actually sell it in different shops. And I just picked this one up at Action. So they do sell it by Dr. Ocker and other brands, but it's a lot more expensive than by the other brands. I have bought some by Aldi as well. But they do cost more money from the other brands. This is under two euros, so it's quite an affordable price. So you just mix it up. So this one is the pink one. It's over here so you can easily get the mixture out.
cutting down the sides of the bowl because the flour stuck to the bowl sides. Clean down the whisk for the next one because the next color is green. I don't want it dripping everywhere, so let's just wipe it down quickly. You can just put a plate under there in case it drips all over your machine. So I'm just going to pour this one into this one because I don't have. The other measuring jug is just huge, so I'm just going to pour it into here. This is a pouring bowl. As you can see, it has a spout on the end. Reminds me of candy floss, this pink colour. So it's going to wipe off the rest of this off the spatula. Try to get most of the pink off the bowl because the next colour is green. one done. So the last colour we've got left to do now is the green. Let's move that over there. We need to measure the butter out again. For the last colour, which is 45 grams of butter. So it's rock solid this butter. Oh, oh I need to Get it out because I didn't actually put the scales on. Just use the spoon to lift it out. So I need to just reset the. It's on the wrong mode as well. Mode. Grams. Need to set it back to here. Mod grams, please. There we are. So that's twenty seven, thirty eight. I only need seven more grams. Hopefully, this is seven grams. Well, that's five grams too much. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm sure five grams won't make any difference. <laughs> the green one will just be more fattier. So we need 
bit of baking powder. That much, surely. And then we need the milk and then the mixture. Tidy for the bowl. So now we need the milk. Oh, very nice. I've wiped it all over the thing. So now we need the milk to go in. So it's 20 ml of milk roughly. <clears throat> 20 ml of milk. So now we need the baking mix. We've got to do the rain scales, we don't need that anymore. So this is the green packet. Don't need the scissors no more. You can see the green already. Something in my head. So now we need to put that one into the bowl once it's finished mixing. I'm so to be mixing it. Oh, I forgot the egg, that's one. I knew there was something I forgot. The one egg. But why is it not mixing? I forgot the one egg in it. And of course, the egg doesn't want to call for it. So, one egg needs to be in. That's it, that's the egg. Don't put it over the plate. So, we put it. I wondered why it was lumpy and it wasn't mixed. It's because I forgot the egg in it. So, I don't know. Put that back to the mix. <clears throat> I don't need those because it's not making those So, we need the baking tray. It only comes with 10 cases and the tray is 12, so I had to put two extra. Um, I think I have loads of baking cases at home, so I just put two two cases into it. But it's ridiculous why it only comes with 10, 10 cases. I just don't understand. I don't understand the reasoning behind it. Oh, it's about hair. Hi. Yeah, I don't understand the reason behind it. Does it make sense? Yeah. Makes it a bit more quicker. Mixed. It's a bit of butter still stuck on the edge, so 
Oops. I managed to knock all the mixture off. <laughs> and I'll have to wash my hands yet again. So many times I have to keep washing my hands. It's because the edge of the bowl was stuck because it was wet when I washed it. So I want to make sure that all the mixtures mix correctly. There's butter stuck on the whisk. So what you do is just wipe the thing, swipe it off like this so it mixes. So what a nice creamy mix, not a lumpy mix. So this colour reminds me of pistachio green. It's cool. There's the neighbour coming out. We've been doing stuff. The neighbour on the weekend, the neighbour does build, the actual person who lives there, he does building work, so there's no rest from this constant building noise. I've shut the window anyway, so I don't need it. So, so I'm finishing this up. So there's not a lot of mixture in the packet, so you just try to get most of the mixture off your wrist because you don't want to block your sink as well. <laughs> Mark times we've had to have the plumber out to unblock the sink thing. What's the neighbour doing making such a racket outside? Oh, he's doing the bins. Got more room to do the cupcake mixture. into the mixing job. Just use a spatula to scrape out the middle of it. So today I'm not layering the cupcakes, I'm going to pour the three colours 
side by side so I'm going to show you how to do that and then what you do you just swirl it with a stick because I haven't got the patience to do to study for ages because I'm actually feeling quite drowsy from the medicine the hay fever medicine so I'm going to show you a quick way of making the rainbow but with a swirl inside it instead so it came with 10 cases so I've had to put two white ones because it comes with yellow so what you do I just need to find the stick mixing stick I can use a cake tester stick as well but I do have a wooden one to use the wooden one was It did have sugar on it, so it's a so this was just a stick that you had sugar on the end there that they used in tea. So let's have a look. This is the box. It has layers, but we're not doing layers today. So let's just see which colour should start with first. Start with the yellow. So we pour a bit of the yellow in it. So just pour some. Pour some in the next one. So just pour some of each colour into it until you've done all the 12 cases. Hopefully you can see, let me just check the video. No, you can't see, let me move it a bit further. Why can't you see it? Hang on, <laughs> let me zoom out a bit. That's it, you can see it now. Move this out of the way, hopefully you can see that. So what I'm going to do is pour each colour. Now you can probably see it better. Hang on. It's the phone holder that's holding it wrong. Yes, you can see it now. So we're going to pour each colour in like this. Just mean that I'm working a bit further away from where I need to be. So you just pour it into each cupcake until you've poured all your mixture in. And then we're going to mix it. So that's why I put it in the measuring jug because it's easy to pour out. We're not making lines today, we're just going to do like a marbled effect. So it's like a marmor cake, but we're going to make a marmor rainbow instead. This part a bit sloppy. That's why I put the mat underneath. Slapped it because you can just wipe it off and wash your hands after. I wash my hands because I've cleaned it off. It, don't, it sticks, it burns on the tray, so it's better not to have it on the tray. And then actually, burn, the mixture burns, and then you have that burn mark on your tray. So, I'm just going to get this spatula and get the rest of that mixture out. So, I'm going to use a spoon to. So we just use the spatula and get the rest of it. Put some into here because this one's not right enough. That's why I use the jug because it's easy to get it out with. Next, we're going to use the pink. Oh, should we use the green? Just 
got green, yellow, pink. So we'll use the pink and then put the blue on top, I think. So next we're going to use a dollop of pink. Just dollop the pink on there. So that's why I've got the ball so it's easy to lift up. <clears throat> so you just need like a spoonful on top, like this. Looks like candy floss, like I said, it's kind of cool. Clean that off. Try not to spill it on the... green one on top and then mix it. Just need to get the rest of this to the point. Probably need a spatula to get the rest of it out. So let's just need to get the last bit of the pink out for the last cupcake. So the last one is the pink one. Green's gonna go on top. And then I'll show you how to mix it with the spoon in a second. Now's the last colour is the green one. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So this is the last colour now, the green one. So we need a dollop of this in each colour top. So this is the quick way I'm showing you, I'm not doing the rainbow lines, I'm just doing the rainbow mix today. So the three colours. It's going to make a marbled effect. That's it. I'm just going to clean that blob off. Wash my hands. To show you how to do that. Where's my stick gone? Hiding. 
So what you do, you get the stick and you just swirl it like this. So we're making the marble effect. So it makes a rainbow marble effect. This one's got a bit too much mixture in, I think. <laughs> And that's it, it's done now, so just clean this bit off the spoon or the stick. And that's it, it's easy peasy like that, it doesn't take very long. I'll just show you with the camera in a second. Now I've got a lot of mixture in the So as you can see, it's easy to do it this way, and this is what we're making. So I'll just get the camera to show you, so you can have a bit closer look. So. And that is what, what it is, but we're not doing the rainbow line, so you need to... This is how much you portion it out, you put 45 grams of butter, one egg and 15 mils of water or milk. So that's what it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to come off live now and put this in the oven. And you bake it at, um, just check what, what you bake it on. So, this is what you need to add to it as a German version. Put from the, oh yeah, the top. So, put So, let's see what it says, how much time to bake it. 12 to 15 minutes. This is the Netherlands version. 12 to 15 minutes in a hot oven. I think it's 180. So I've got it on 180. So that's it for my live. <clears throat> and if you want to watch this live, it'll be on uh, YouTube, hopefully, if I can save it. <laughs>